Okay, I need to cut this to, to have it start with me opening the door. We'll, uh, we'll do it right there. I love <laughs> during rehearsal when I actually got to throw um, coke at Dallas. We got the coke cans for the first time when we did it and there was actual water in it and I didn't know. Like I knew something was in it, but I didn't know it was like opened. And I actually like, I threw it in Dallas's face and I was very surprised that water came out and I kind of started laughing. So there was this like big couch in the room. It was like away from everything. Basically, me and David Bowron and Enemy were all hanging out on that couch. David like hit me or something, and then I yelled really loud. And then, since I had already been like acting up that day, Mr. Joey kicked me out of rehearsal. He was like, "Leave! I'm done with you!" And I was like, oh. "That was definitely my most memorable moment from CKB rehearsal." We would do the warm ups, uh, and. One of the warm-ups required remembering people's names and I was terrible at it. I forgot people's names who I've known forever, but in the moment I just couldn't remember and it was it was a little embarrassing to say the least. <laughs> My favorite moment from The Outsiders was definitely closing night. There was an incredible bond created among the cast members and after the last show, I think everyone realized how important this show was to all of us. And there were a lot of really hard goodbyes that night. There was tears, there was laughter. It was intense, but it was amazing. But I think that made the show that much better. I made so many wonderful friends from that show and I truly treasure all the memories that I made. My friend James and I were actually casted as Derry together because there were two casts. And we had also previously been casted both as, as Harold Hill. So we had this moment of just being casted as the same role again. So we just looked at each other like, oh, for the same role again, like, that's, it was just like a really nice moment of just, you know, the real community that, that CKP offers in, in every single show. I felt like it was more, more mature, I guess you could say heavy topic or mature topic. Also, there was a good amount of stage combat, which made it super fun. Before The Outsiders, the only things I did were musicals, like Shrek the Musical and Music Man. So doing a play that had no singing or dancing and had way more serious themes was kind of difficult to adapt to. But in the end, it was re uh, really worth it, and I felt really accomplished after doing it. The rehearsal time was so short, and we had so ended up having so much fun in so little time. It wasn't like the happy, upbeat type show that CKP always puts on, so it was very different, but I liked it. It was a lot of fun. In all of CKP's history, every show we've ever done has been a comedy that was lighthearted with a happy ending. However, Outsiders was the first show we've ever done that was serious with death scenes and fight scenes and, and tears. And we're all really proud of Joey for being a first in CKP history. Being in The Outsiders compared to other shows felt a lot more grounded and down to earth. Of course, all the dancing and singing is a ton of fun, but The Outsiders had a different vibe to it, and it felt a lot more unique and interesting to be able to play around and have fun with that. I thought that was just really cool because, you know, it was something new for all of us. absolute favorite moment from the show would have to be the, the amazing fight scene that Mr. Joey taught us to do. It was absolutely crazy. We had music going on in the background that was that was synced to the punches and everything. Anyone not in the Rumble would always run up to the balcony to watch and it was so much fun to be a part of. Practicing the Rumble it was so much fun learning all like the fight choreography and it was just it was just a blast to do. Pulling off the rumble scene on stage. It was really cool to be able to perform like that and all of us worked pretty hard on it. So it was pretty neat to have that go as well as it did. When I died playing Bob, but not even like acting it out, but just hearing everyone's reaction in the audience. I could hear like Miss Baron like sobbing and it was like kinda cool to me that like something my acting could make somebody do that.
because of the way that like my hair is, it was a uh, incredibly difficult to slick it back for Pony Boy. It never was right, and it, it, it took like like 25, 30 minutes each time. So I always had to had to prepare way ahead of time. Trying to figure out the blood packets. Whenever I got stabbed by Johnny, we had this blood bag that I had to squeeze perfectly. Every night, Miss Rachel, Michael, and I would always try and figure out the best way to make the blood packets work and be visible to the audience. There was blood, like, all over the stage. One of the cast members slipped on the fake blood we used during performance. It didn't show much at all, and I'm glad it worked out pretty well because no one else seemed to notice. When we finally got it perfect, I remember coming off stage with Michael and Miss Rachel was silently cheering because we were in the middle of the show and we finally got it right. But you could tell how happy she was that we finally did it. Cut. Cut. That's my line.